So, even here, why? Because with my pelvis here, I'm able to create a connection on my glute, my hamstring, and my calf if need be. This is posing. When you flex your upper body on stage, you're not just up here. It's everything from the floor up. Ready to grip the bar so now? Quarter turns. Everything starting from the front, from the floor up. So you always take a minute, place your feet, turn your heels in, your toes out. That gives my knees also a place to turn out, which accentuates the sweep on the two quads. Inside of your calves. Open up, all right? Okay. So in order to make sure that you're able to contract all of the muscles that are visible um, for the viewing eyes of the judges, be it at the front, the side, the rear, um, you have a checklist and that checklist starts with the floor. So a lot of bodybuilders talk about tensing from the floor up. So your checklist is, okay, my feet up through your, your calves, up through your quads, up through the muscles of your upper quads. Are those things tense? Okay, from the floor up to your waist now in your checklist, are all those muscles tense as they're supposed to be? Yes, okay. And then you continue from your waist up. It does require a certain amount of endurance to stand there and flex a, a lot of different muscle groups in your body simultaneously at the same time and then maintain this expression that is, I am cool, I am good. Bend the knees, drop your pelvis, and pull. You know, front of the bicep. Good shot. Lock spread. Chest. Here's another move from back in the day. Oh, the group. Serious exit. Well, I was telling you, you're going to open up your feet, flex your hands, flex your glute, and pull down from here. The same thing here. Well, this is like a lunge. One leg back. Turn your knees out, flexion on your calf, hamstring, up to your glutes, and your lats. Make sense? We get downstairs and we're like going through the training. I'm just like, why are we doing all these things back to back? And then as soon as we, as soon as, you know, the tops come off and the bottoms come off, and you're, and we're, we're practicing posing, it all makes sense and when we're hitting poses. Everything kind of just starts to click. I'm like, okay, that's why we did that exercise. That's why we did this exercise. That's why we did this exercise. And it's not until the end when everything kind of came together, that's when everything made sense. In order to try to be mindful of showing the sweep on your quads, you're going to turn your knees out, but you can't turn your knees out without trying to turn your feet out. But you can't turn your feet out without somewhat being aware of the ground beneath your feet. Okay, I want to be able to 
to show the contour, a pleasing contour line around the entirety of my body. Um, so if you were to think about drawing a silhouette, taking a body, turning it into just a blackened image, and drawing a line around, a contour line around the, the silhouette. In order to create the image of this silhouette that corresponds with the idea that we know is competitive bodybuilding, then um, in order to do that, you have to position yourself.